Hey. Uh, hi, ma'am. How can I help you? I want to order acoustic block script. Can you help me? Uh, yeah, sure. Let me check. Excuse me. I have some emergency. Can you please speed up? Uh, okay. Are you still struggling with this kind of same situation or same problem? I know that manually creating a sale order and going through all of those process like creating a, uh, I mean registering a payment, creating an invoice, sending that invoice to a particular customer or even though you have to create a quotation, all things are getting messy nowadays, right? So yeah, this is a nightmare for all of the sales representative but don't worry, don't cry. Here we have a solution, here comes Odoo 19 and here we have the sales module and under the sales module you can simply create a sale order and confirming that sale order and creating invoice that sending that particular invoice to the customer and after registering the payment all those things in a few clicks without switching into different kind of modules. Okay. So I'm not stretching, let's head over to the dashboard. Here comes the dashboard of the sales module. You will get the quotation dashboard first. Uh, you will get all the details which regarding to the particular quotation numbers, creation date, customer, website, salesperson, activities, company, total and as well as the status which is sale order is whether confirmed or is it that in a quotation state. Everything you can find from here and there we have different kind of views. I'm not going to explain each and everything from here. Here in this video I'm just going to show you how to create the sale order and how you can simply end up with that registration string the payment okay so for that let's move to the order session and here i'm going to create an order sale order particular sale order so for that you just click on the orders and you will get the same wizard like that and you need to create a new one for that just click on the new button and you will get a form like this so you need to fill up all those things okay so starting from the customer side you need to specify who is our customer so here it is abigail peterson so just click on there and if the customer details is pre-recorded on your db definitely order will be auto populated the invoice address and as well as the delivery address okay and there you can also give any referrer and there we have the quotation template which is a pre-created quotation like if this customer is a regular based customer uh, this person is um, taking or giving orders in a regular basis so you don't want to create a new quotation for each of them you can simply create a quotation template and you can use that template inside any particular sale order okay so you can choose a quotation template once you have clicking on this option you will get different kind of existing quotation template which is office furniture rent rooms monthly cleaning yearly cleaning okay so you can choose from the here i'm not going to choose any kind of quotation template and there we have the expiration which is the expiration or validity date for this particular order okay validity of the order after that you will not able to sign and pay the quotation okay so this is actually a big and huge savior for all of the business person order sales step so you can simply put an expiration date by using this option so let it be 17 and there we have the recurring plan so what do you mean by recurring it's basically repeating repeating something right so here this plan uh, need to be repeat or something so if you want to repeat any kind of plans which is a monthly yearly or a six month basis you can simply put that so let me give you an example if this uh, sales is basically on a service based you can simply put a recurring plan like you if this is a, a cleaning process, you need to put a recurring plan which is on a monthly basis. So you can simply uh, create a recurring plan and use that recurring plan inside this particular option. And there we have the price list. Here I'm not going to put any recurring plan as well as. And there we have the price list which you can simply put a price list uh, of a customer of any discounts or anything. So like, uh, let me say an example, if your customer is a loyal person and uh, I mean, actually Abigail, okay, let uh, consider Abigail. Abigail is regularly purchasing everything from you and he's such a loyal customer, you can simply give a discount rate for him. Okay, I mean, for hair, I'm sorry, for hair, 
For that, you can simply uh, create a price list inside the Odoo and you can use that price list for the particular customer and you can also create a price list for any kind of discount for any seasonal period you can simply create a discount price list and you can use that price list for every kind of sale order that comes under that season okay so that is the purpose of a price list so there you can find different kind of price list which is uh, in euro default christmas and everything so you can choose that so let it be default and there we have the payment terms which you need to provide a payment uh, from your customer which is an immediate payment like you are asking for an immediate payment from your customer and there we have the 15 days 21 days 13 45 and you can choose as per your concern from the option okay so let it be an immediate payment and there we have different kind of tab which is order line card builder other information and notes from the order line tab the, from there you need to choose add product okay so what's a product you know that it's acoustic block screen so simply click on the option and you will get a drop down menu like this so simply choose which is a product okay so let it be the acoustic block screen once you've done with that you will get a wizard like this like this so you need to uh, specify which is the variant like there you can see different kind of color which is white and second one is a black so you need to choose a color so let it be white and you can also uh, choose a customization like you can enter a customized value so i think this is a new thing in odoo 90 comparing with odoo 18 and you can also add more products so let it be one product okay and once you have done with that, there you can see the total amount as well as from the wizard. And let's confirm this. And yeah, it's done. We have already added our product into the product line. And once you've done with that, there you can see the quantity you need. You need price, taxes. If you want to apply any taxes for this particular product, you can choose that. And there we have the discount. So if you want to apply any discount, you can also choose that. And there we have the total amount. And if you want to remove this, just click on this trash icon. Okay. And there we have different kind of option under that. Like you can add a product that's uh, we have already done. And there we have add a section. Like if you want to add any particular section. If you are adding any kind of different kind of product, like uh, some products are in the group of uh, furniture and some products are in the group of some grocery, you can simply add the session. So your customer can easily understand or you, they can easily categorize everything. Okay. And there we have an option which you can add a not basically under any kind of product. And there we have the catalog. So this is a good part. Once you're clicking on the catalog, you will get the catalog of all the product that inside your DB. And you can also categorize that from uh, here. You will see all clothes, drinks, expense, food, furniture, goods, home construction, rental and as well as the service. And you can see each and every detail about different kind of product from the Kanban view itself. Like you can see the simple pen and how much uh, amount, I mean, how much, I mean, how it's coached. And there you can see the reference ID. And if you want to add that into your cart, you can simply choose this option or click on this option. So here I'm not going to do anything. I'm just um, moving to the sale order. And once you have back, let's move to the card builder, which is the second tab. You can simply provide a, a card, which is a header and footer for this particular quotation or a sale order. And there we have the other information tab. The other information regarding the particular sale will be here, like the sales, invoicing, delivery, and as well as the tracking. You can specify the salesperson from here. So this, I mean, corresponding sales order is belongs to Michelle Admin. And there we have the sales team company. And if you want to add any online signature or if you want any online signature from your customer side, you can simply check on this option. And there we have the online payment. And there we have the customer reference and as well as easy post searchability, easy searchability. You can simply add any tags. And there we have the invoicing, like there you can find three options, which is fiscal portion, payment method, and as well as the project. And there we have the delivery 
విచ్ అండర్స్ ద వే హౌస్ ఇంకో టర్మ్ ఇంకో టర్మ్ లొకేషన్ షిప్పింగ్ పాలసీ డెలివరీ డేట్ సో బేసిక్లీ ద షిప్పింగ్ పాలసీ ఇస్ లైక్ ఇఫ్ యూ డెలివర్ ఆల్ ప్రోడక్ట్ ఎట్ వన్స్ ద డెలివరీ ఆర్డర్ విల్ బి షెడ్యూల్డ్ బేస్డ్ ఆన్ ద గ్రేటెస్ట్ ప్రోడక్ట్ లీడ్ టైప్ అదర్వైజ్ ఇట్ విల్ బి బేస్డ్ ఆన్ ద షార్టెస్ట్ ఓకే సో యూ కెన్ చూస్ ద షిప్పింగ్ పాలసీ ఫ్రమ్ హియర్ యూ విల్ గెట్ టూ షిప్పింగ్ ఐ మీన్ షిప్పింగ్ పాలసీ విచ్ ఈస్ యాజ్ సూన్ యాజ్ పాసిబుల్ అండ్ మెన్ ఆల్ ప్రోడక్ట్ ఆర్ రెడీ అండ్ దే వీ హ్యావ్ ద డెలివరీ డేట్ ఓడు విల్ ఆల్రెడీ గివ్ యూ uh expected delivery date so you can choose that or you can simply put a delivery date for this particular product and there we have the tracking which you can see the source document opportunity if this particular sale order comes under any opportunity you can simply choose that here and if it's the if it's come under any campaign you can choose that medium source and you can choose all of those things okay and let's move to the note side under the note side you can simply put any kind of notes regarding this particular sale order so once you have done with that at the bottom i mean top side there you can see different kind of option which you can send this as a quotation and you can print confirm preview and as well as cancel and there we have different stages quotation quotation st send stage uh, stage and there we have the sale order so here i'm going to confirm the sale order so i'm actually talking about all the tabs if you want to avoid all of that or if you don't want to add any kind of particular things to the, those tabs just confirm the sale order this is a simple thing okay so let it load yeah it's done your sale order is ready so once you have done with that you can simply create an invoice you can preview that and you can cancel as well as you can send that so here i'm going to deliver this product okay for that let's validate so once before delivering the product there you can see all the details if the product is available on your inventory you can also uh, see that from here so the demanded uh, amount of the product quantity and everything you can simply put that validate once you have validate all the option so once you've done with that let's move to the sale order so once we back to the sale order okay we need to validate one more thing so let's move to the delivery and yeah it's in a ready stage so let's validate this so once you have done with that let's move to the oh uh, sale order and there you can simply create the invoice there you can find the button which is called to create invoice and send preview and as well as the cancel so here i'm going to create the invoice for this particular sale order so just click on the option and you will get a wizard like to create an invoice in a regular invoice on a regular basis and there we have the down payment method which, which you can um give a percentage order fixed amount basis so here i'm going to create a draft invoice for the uh, for this particular product so just click on one here and you will get the draft invoice like you can check all the details so simply you are created an invoice in a few click okay so once you have done with all the configured option just confirm this invoice and tada it's confirmed and it's posted and if you want to register the payment simply click on this option which is called payment okay so just pay so there you can see all the information about that and let's create a payment once you have done with that yeah this a uh, particular sale orders and payment you you will get a green color ribbon which labeled as in payment so that's all everything in few clicks without changing or without switching into different modules we are gone through the inventory and we are gone through the sales and everything but we didn't even switch anything right so that's how simple you can handle with the sale order in odu 19 sales module so i hope you all understood this uh, video and i i hope you all clear so that's how you can simply create a sale order using the sales module inside odu 19 you're going through all the process without switching any app like starting from the sale order ending with the registering payment yeah that's simple okay so i hope you all understood this video so if you like this video please do subscribe share your friends i mean share with your friends and yeah i'll be back with another more real time tutorial till that bye bye